droll. So to start, you should know that r cos x uh, is also known as the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared minus 1. And so we could rewrite the given integral like this. Yeah, okay. And from here on out, we're going to do integration by parts. And for that, uh, let's recall the formula for integration by parts is that fella upstairs. And then dx is dv. <laughs> and so uh, that means that u is equal to the rest of the integrand. And now uh, the little easy task is figuring out what v is, which is x. But for du, boy, oh boy. So we first do 1 over the argument of the natural log, but then by chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of the argument of natural log. So that's the derivative of um, x plus this quantity that we have to multiply by. Now, the derivative of x is just one that's simple, but the derivative of this fella is going to be 1 half, this fella to the negative 1 half, and then times 2x, right? So all that animated looks like these, um, all right? Okay, uh, and I've clearly um, learned my exponent rules in writing um, x squared minus 1 to the negative 1 half downstairs with a positive 1 half. And again, we have to multiply by um, 2x, the derivative of x squared um, minus 1 to apply the chain rule correctly all the way through, yeah? Okay, now, this actually, believe it or not, simplifies pretty nicely. And here's how. Yeah, okay, now... Uh, first, we can uh, cross this 2 here and that 2, right? And so we'll have 1 plus x divided by uh, the square root of x squared minus 1. So to get common denominators uh, in this part and what we will have in this part, we'll have to write 1 here as the square root of x squared minus 1 over the square root of x squared minus 1, yeah? Uh, and so if you do that, then you could write the square root of x squared minus 1 first uh yeah i'm like kind of like behind or head or something i don't know um okay so first uh this yes that right the square root of x squared minus one and that's going to be the numerator of this guy and it's also going to be his denominator but then he'll have a common denominator with this guy whose numerator is x right so let's do that so that x is that x again just to be clear okay and that plus sign is that plus sign okay and Yes, the common denominator is what? The square root of x squared minus 1, right? Okay. I'm not going to hold uh, my breath to hear you respond. <laughs> okay. Um, now, here's what I said works out nicely. This guy here, right, I is identical to this guy. Okay. So, that means... Psh, psh. Okay. And um, du is <laughs> equal to <laughs> uh, 1 over... Okay. x squared minus 1 to the positive 1 half times dx... Right? Okay, finally. Thought it'd never be over. Okay, get rid of this and scoot this guy up, right? Okay, so the integral of u dv, I know this by heart, you know this by heart, is equal to uv minus integral of v du. So this here, uh, we've got all the puzzles to the piece. We've got u and v for the uv, it's hidden, and then minus <laughs> integral of v du. Um, so yeah, v and du, yeah, so let's proceed. Um, Ah, oh, man, after all, clarity. Okay, so uh, uv is going to be x times arc cos x, right? Where, again, remember this here, the natural log expression is arc cos x. Yeah? Okay, and then minus vdu is going to be minus x divided by, well, square root of x squared minus 1, which we can write like that. Yeah? Okay, and now I'm not going to work out the details of this integral because it's pretty simple. Uh, it's just like a basic substitution where you substitute for like x squared minus 1, say, with t. And yeah, like, okay. So I'm just going to say what it is, and it's going to be this if you do it correctly. So our final answer is um, 